What is I do with God's money? Nitafanya nini kwa fedha za Mungu? What shall I do with God's money? Nitatumiaje au nitafanya nini kwa fedha za Mungu? Let us pray. Na tuombe. Eternal Father. Baba wa milele. The King of Kings. Mfalme wa wafalme. The Lord of Lords. Bwana wa mabwana. Today we are so happy to be in your presence. Tunafuraha sana leo kuwa katika uwepo wako. We thank you for your presence in our midst. Tunakushukuru kwa uwepo wako miongoni mwetu. As we continue to to learn from your your word. Kadi tunavoendelea kujifunza kutoka katika neno lako. May your Holy Spirit fill 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 our hearts. Ebu roho wako na ajaze mioyo yetu. So that we can understand your will. Ili kwamba tuelewe mapenzi yako. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. What shall I do with God's money? Nitafanya nini na fedha za Mungu? This is a question. Hili ni swali which is important in our spiritual life. Ambalo ni la msingi sana kwenye maisha yako ya kiroho. Each one of us kila mmoja wetu has to ask himself this question. Anapaswa kujiuliza mwenyewe swali hili. What shall I do with God's money? Nitatumiaje fedha za Mungu? In the book of Genesis chapter 1, katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya kwanza, verse 1 fungu la kwanza the baba the baba tell us very clearly biblia inatuambia kwa uwazi kabisa that god is the creator kwamba mungu ni muumbaji the creator of all muumbaji wa vyote and as a creator na kama muumbaji god is worthy of our worship mungu anastahili uh, ibada yetu amen amen we have been created to bring to bring glory to God. Tumeumbwa ili tulete utukufu kwa Mungu. This is the only purpose we we have been created for. Kwa kweli hilo ndilo kusudi tu ambalo kwao tumeumbwa. We are here to to bring glory to God. Tuko hapa ili kuleta utukufu kwa Mungu. Because God is great. Kwa sababu Mungu ni mkuu. God is the creator. Mungu ni muumbaji. God is the one who sustains Usa sustenas Mungu ndiye anayetujalia sisi kuishi. Ndiye mpaji kwetu. He is the one who have our breath of life in his hands. Yeye peke yake ndiye aliye na mkate wetu mikononi mwake. We all depend on him. Sisi sote tunamtegemea yeye. To survive. Ili tuweze kuishi. This is the why. This is the why. Hii ndio sababu. In the Deuteronomy chapter 6 kada kitabu cha kumbukumbu na Torati sura ya sita mstari ule wa nena watano Mungu anasema Here sikiliza sikiza e Israeli The Lord our God Bwana Mungu wetu The Lord is one Mungu ni mmoja Love the Lord your God with your heart Mpende Bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako And with all your soul na kwa roho yako yote And with all your strength na kwa nguvu zako zote The Lord is one na Mungu ni mmoja There is no one like him Hakuna mwingine kama yeye His name is above all the names Jina lake linapita majina yote He is the only one from whom all the blessing flow Ni kutoka kwake tu baraka zote zinabubujika. Amen. Amen. This is why hii ndio sababu we are commanded sisi tunaelekezwa the Lord with all our heart. Tumpenda Mungu kwa mioyo yetu yote. With all our soul kwa roho zetu zote. With all our strength na kwa nguvu zetu zote. Because, because you cannot exist without God. Kwa sababu kwa kweli hatuwezi kuwepo bila Mungu. God can exist can exist without us. Wewe Mungu anaweza kuishi hata bila sisi. Because he doesn't depend on us. Kwa sababu hategemei kwetu. But we we cannot. Lakini sisi hatuwezi. We cannot exist without God. Hatuwezi kabisa kuwepo bila yeye. This is the reason why. Na hii ndio sababu. Man, kwa nini Mungu alimuumba mwanadamu? Glory to him. Kwa kweli alimuumba ili arete utukufu kwa. And when God says something. Na kwa hivyo Mungu anaposema kitu something to you anapoelekeza jambo kwako you do it ni vizuri ulitende without asking questions ulifanye bila kuhoji swali lolote to to advise him 
Yes. Don't try to give him an Usi, advice. Usijaribu kumshauri Mungu anapokuelekeza. Because God doesn't need our advice. Kwa sababu Mungu hahitaji ushauri wetu. He's the Lord of the Lords. Yeye ni Bwana wa mabwana. The King of the Kings. Ni mfalme wa wafalme. He's the Lord who command all the creation. Yeye ndiye anayetoa maelekezo na kufanya vyote viumbe vyote. And now his creation have to na submit to his will. Viumbe vyake vyote lazima vijitoe kikamilifu kwake. Amen. 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 Every creature kila kiumbe has to submit to God's will. Kinapaswa kujisalimisha kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. Because God is God. Kwa sababu Mungu ni Mungu. He is not a human. Yeye sio mwanadamu. He is not mortal like us. Yeye sio kitu ambacho kinakufa kwa sisi. He is immortal. Yeye hafi. Amen. When God created Adam and Eve Mungu alipomuumba Adam na Eva He them in the garden of, uh, of, uh, of Eden. Aliwaweka kwenye bustani ya Edeni. And he told them na akawaambia the book of Genesis Kata kitabu cha mwanzo uh, let us read that uh, Ebu tusome hapo kitabu cha mwanzo. Tusome hilo fungu. Genesis chapter 2 Mwanzo sura ya pili Verse chapter uh, verse uh, mstari wa 15 paka ule mstari wa 17 inasema then the lord god took man and put him in the garden of eve kisha bwana mungu akamchukua yule mwanadamu adamu akamwekea kwenye bustani ya edeni to tend and keep it. Ii aweze kuilima na kuitunza. And the Lord God commanded this man. Na akamwagiza huyu mwanadamu, say, akimwambia, of every tree of the garden, miti yote ya bustani, you may freely eat. Mnaweza kula kabisa kwa uhuru. But of the tree of the knowledge of good. Lakini kuhusu mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya, and evil, wa mema na mabaya, you shall not eat. Msire. For in the day kwa sababu katika siku that you eat of it ambayo mtakula katika mti huo you shall surely die hakika utakufa you shall surely die hakika utakufa god as a god gave a command god gave a instruction mungu kama mungu alitoa maelekezo kwa father parents kwa baba zetu hawa zamani You are here in the garden. Mko hapa kwenye bustani. In this garden there are so many trees. Na hii bustani ina miti mingi. But be cautious. Lakini sikilizeni makini. Chukueni tahadhari. You are given the mission. Mmepewa maelekezo. They are not the owner of the trees. Mmepewa tu ku, ku, ku kukutunza lakini ninyi sio wamiliki you are here to obey to my com, to, to my command ninyi mko hapa tu kutii amri yangu na maelekezo yangu na siku you will eat from the tree of knowledge mtakapokula kutoka kwenye mti wa ujuzi you will surely die kwa kweli mtakufa the garden of eden bustani ya edeni all selected the one tree from him said ilikuwa na mti mmoja tu kwa ajili ya yeye Why did God do this? Kwa nini Mungu alifanya hivi? Why God did do this? Kwa nini Mungu alifanya hivi? The Lord created every tree in Eden. Bwana alitengeneza aliumba kila mti katika bustani. All the trees were present to the eyes and the good for food. Miti yote ilikuwa inapendeza na kutoa ilitamanisha. Yaani yote ukitazama ilivutia. But he bade Adam and Eve freely enjoy his bounties. Lakini alimtaka Adam ajaribu kufurahia mahali yake. But he made one exception. Lakini aliweka jambo moja la pekee. Aliweka jambo moja la pekee. The tree of knowledge. Kuhusu mti wa ujuzi. Of good and evil. Wa mema na mabaya. They were not to eat. Hawakuruhusiwa kula. They were not to eat. Hawakupaswa kula. This tree. Mti huu. God reserved Mungu aliutunza as a constant reminder of his ownership of all. Aliutaka uwepo kama ishara au kumbukumbu ya kudumu siku zote kwa. Kwa Adam and Eve so that tree. Yaani wakati wote Adamu na Eva wakiwa. Mashirikoga knows that 
God was the owner of everything. Kwa kuona tu wajue kwamba Mungu ni mmiliki wa vitu vyote. Amen. 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 Thus he gave them opportunity. Hivyo Mungu aliwapatia fursa to demonstrate their faith. Kuonyesha kudhihirisha uaminifu wao. Ni him. And it was na, na 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 imani au uaminifu by kwake by their perfect obedience to his requirements. Kwa uaminifu wao usio tetereka na utifu kwake. That tree mti huo was God is tree. Ilikuwa ni mti wa Mungu. It was God's tree. Ulikuwa ni mti wa Mungu. Brothers and sisters, you have to understand this. Ndugu na dada, mnapaswa kulijua hili. That tree of good and knowledge. Mti huo wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Was God's tree. Ulikuwa ni mti wa Mungu. Adam and Eve were to touch it. Adamu na Eva hawakupasa kuugusa. They have no they did they, 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 they have even to come near the tree. Yaani kwa kweli wasingepaswa hata kusogelea. Because it was not the tree. Kwa sababu haikuwa mti wao. It was not the tree. Ilikuwa ni mti wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Throughout the history. Katika kipindi chote cha historia. Patriarchs and prophets of the Old Testament. Wazee na manabii wa muda wote wa agano na kale. Hata mitume. Continually repeating and told. Mara nyingi walirudia na walisema. The truth that everything in the universe. Ukweli ni kwamba kila kitu ulimwenguni belongs to God. Kinatoka kwa Mungu. Everything which is in the universe. Kila kitu unachokiona hapa duniani. Belongs to God. Kinatoka kwa Mungu. God has ownership on everything. Mungu ndiye. Mungu ndiye mwenye hatimiki ya kila kitu. Because he is a creator. Kwa sababu yeye ni mwombaji. And the man is not a creator he is a human um, uh, um, uh, created the beings. Mwanadamu sio mwombaji yeye ni kiumbe kilichoumbwa. Adam and Eve were given responsibility. Adam na Eva walikuwa wamepewa majukumu. Management and dominion. Kukutunza tu na kuhifadhi. Over the things that God created. Vitu vyote ambavyo Mungu alikuwa ameviumba. But they were not given ownership. Lakini hawakupewa umiliki. They were not given ownership. Hawakupewa ridhaa ya umiliki. The ownership belonged to God. Umiliki umiliki ni stahili ya the creator of the universe. Yeye Mungu tu kama mwombaji wa ulimwengu. As we all know. Na kama wote tujuavyo. Adam and Eve they didn't respect the God. Adam na Eva kwa kweli hawakumwesha. They from the forbidden tree. Wao waliamua kabisa kula kutoka kwenye mti uliozuiwa. And as God uh, uh, told them, na kama Mungu alivyowaambia, they died. Walikufa. Because God cannot lie. Kwa sababu Mungu siku zote sio Mungu. When he says something, akisema kitu, you better do it. Ni vizuri ukakifanya. Because if you do not, kwa sababu usipofanya, you will pay the consequences. Uta utapasa tu kugarimia matokeo. You will have to pay the consequences. Utagarimia matokeo yake. Because he is not here to joke with you. Kwa sababu Mungu siku zote hawezi kukutana na sisi. Oh, that to God. Yes. All the creatures. Yaani viumbe vyote vinapasa to God. Vinapasa kumtimu. Except the man. Isipokuwa except the man. Isipokuwa mwanadamu. Fortunately. Kwa bahati Fortunately. Kwa bahati God had an amen in an emergency plan. Mungu alikuwa na mpango. That immediately implemented. Ambao kwa wakati huo huo ulitekelezeka as they were seen yani wakati muda tule baada ya kufanya dhambi kulikuwa na mokozi praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe after the fall of man baada tu ya anguko la mwanadamu the bible is clear biblia iko wazi in john chapter 3 katika kitabu cha yohana sura ya 3 verse 16 mstari wa 16 God in his love send his son. Kwa upendo wa Mungu alituma mwanae. To die for man. Kufa kwa ajili yetu. So that man can have another chance. Ili mwanadamu apate nafasi nyingine. Amen. Amen. We serve a wonderful God. Kwa kwa 
tayari tunamtumikia Mungu wa ajabu. A God who gives another opportunity. Mungu anayetoa fursa nyingine. Another chance. Nafasi nyingine. And after the fall of man. Na baada ya anguko la mwanadamu. Jesus came to die for us. Yesu alikuja akafa kwa ajili yetu. To give another chance to man. Kutoa nafasi nyingine kwa mwanadamu. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe sana. Praise the Lord. Bwana atukuzwe. On the cross of Calvary. Katika msalaba wa Kalwari. Jesus Christ the son of God. Yesu Kristo akiwa mwana wa Mungu. Pay the redemption price. Alilipa gharama ya ukombozi kwa mwanadamu. Adam and Eve no longer had access to the Eden home. Adam na Eva hawakuwa na nafasi tena kukubarika katika mipaka ya Eden. God chased the devil away. Mungu aliwafu kuza mali because of their disobedience kwa sababu ya kutokutii kwao in his great love from for man lakini kwa upendo wake mkubwa kwa mwanadamu God instituted Mungu aliamua kutekeleza akatekeleza njia mbadala njia ambayo kwao mwanadamu tena angefanywa hivyo sio sio tu kwa ajili ya wale mti tena wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya katika Edeni lakini hiki ni kitu kingine tena cha pekee ambacho alikiweka kwa ajili yetu After sin, baada ya dhambi, God said, Mungu alisema. In Leviticus chapter 27, katika mambo ya Warawi sura ya saba verse 30 up to 33, mstari wa 30 mpaka 33. God said, Mungu alisema. After the fall of human, baada ya mwanadamu la mwanadamu. God said again, Mungu alisema. I give you an second chance. Na wapatia nafasi ya pili. A type of the tree Oh, oh, a tap of everything for, from the land zaka ya kila mti na ya kila kitu kutoka kwenye ardhi whether grown from the soil or fruit ama imetoka katika matunda au kwenye uh, kwenye ardhi from the trees kutoka kwenye miti belongs to to the lord hivyo vyote vinapasa kuwa vya mungu belongs to the lord vyote ni vya mungu the, the, the touch of everything zaka ya kila kitu from the land kutoka kwenye ardhi whether grown from the soil or ama ni nafaka kutoka kwenye dongo au kutoka kwenye miti matunda to the lord hivyo vyote ni vya bwana it is holy to the lord hiyo kwa kweli ni takatifu kwa bwana it is mtakatifu kwa bwana amen <laughs> the entire tax zaka yote of the head ya ya had zaka yote ya mazao oh the frog azaka yote ya mifugo every tenth animal kila mnyama wa kumi that pass under the shepherd rules yani kila mnyama wa kumi kutoka kutoka kwa mchungaji huyo atakuwa ni mtakatifu And kwa bwana this is another command god has given to, to his people hii sasa ni amri nyingine tena bwana ametoa kwa watu wake this Brothers and sisters we have to turn the law for the second chance here. Kwa ndugu zangu na dada zangu tunapaswa kumshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi ya pili tena aliyotupatia. Brothers and sisters, ndugu zangu na dada, God claim the test of everything. Mungu anadai, anataka zaka ya kila kitu. And test na zaka is a test of royalty for man. Ni sehemu ya kumi na ni jaribio la uadilifu wa kila mwanadamu. It is a test of royalty for man. Ili ni jaribio la uadilifu kwa mwanadamu. The Lord said, na Bwana anasema, Bring all the tests to the store. Leteni zaka yote garani. Ode, bring all the tests to the store. Leteni zaka yote garani. That day you eat from the the tithe siku unayo kura kwenye zaka bwana anasema you will be cast utakatiliwa mbali you will be cast utafutiliwa mbali and you will be recorded in the heaven book na wewe kwa kweli maelezo yako yataandikwa kwenye kitabu cha mbinguni God's possession. Utaandikwa kama mtu fulani ambaye anapora miliki ya Mungu. In the, in the book of heaven. Katika vitabu vya mbinguni. Is a, a long book. Kuna kitabu cha orodha where are written all the all the rumors. Anapo habari 
Ongezwa za watu wote wema na wabaya. Ongezwa possession. Wale ambao wana wanashughulika na miliki za Mungu. from the test. Siku tu unayokura zaka. You are a cast. Wewe umefutiliwa mbali. You are a rebel. Wewe ni jambazi. Because you are taking something something by force. Kwa sababu unachukua kitu fulani kwa nguvu. That belong to God ambacho kinatoka kwa Mungu. That is holy to God. Zaka ni takatifu kwa Mungu. We don't we don't return uh, to God because we want to to to, to, to thank him. Hatuudishi zaka kwa Mungu ati kwa sababu tunataka kumshukuru. Oh because we want to show our generosity. Hawati tunataka kuonyesha uh, ukarimu wetu kwa Mungu. We don't bring a bring that to, to to show that we are grateful for all the present God the Lord has given us. Hatumletei Mungu zake ati kwa sababu tunataka tumshukuru kwa baraka alizotupa. We bring the tears bali tunaleta zaka. Because it is God's command. Kwa sababu ni amri ya Mungu. Amen. Because of God has commanded it. Kwa sababu Bwana amelekeza hivyo iletwe. He said that it is holy to him. Anasema hiyo ni takatifu kwake. If we don't obey to him, kama tusipo kwa waadilifu kwake, we are a curse of the people. Sisi ni watu tuliolaaniwa. This is very clear. Mungu yuko wazi. You are a curse person. Anasema ukifanya hivyo wewe umekatariwa. If you eat the dust, kama wewe unakula zaka. Everything belong to God. Kila kitu ni cha Mungu. Not only by creation. Sio tu kwa sababu ya umba. But also by redemption. Lakini pia kwa ukombozi. Amen. Amen. Because it is God who created everything. Kwa sababu ni Mungu ndiye aliyeumba kila kitu. And it is God who paid the, the ransom. Na ni yeye Mungu aliyepa fidia to redeem everything. Kukomboa kila kitu. This is the reason why everything belongs to God by creation and by redemption. Na hii ndio sababu vitu vyote ni vyake kwa wote. We are responsible to administer. Tunawajibika. The gift. Tunawajibika. He has given us. Kuadilifu kwa vyote alivyotupatia. Except the tenth. Isipokuwa zaka which is exclusively. Ambayo yenyewe kwa kweli imewekwa kando. His hiyo ni yake and it must be returned to him na ni lazima irudishwe kwake as a son of royalty to god kama ishara ya uadilifu when you bring it to the, to, to, to the to the soha unapoleta zaka kwenye gara you are shown to god unaomuonyesha mungu that we are obedient to him kwa kwamba wewe ni mwaminifu ni, ni mtiifu we recognize that that god is our creator yani hiyo ni ishara ya itikio kwamba unatambua ni muumbaji that god is the ownership of everything kwamba yeye ndiye mwenye umiliki wa kila kitu that we cannot exist without god kwamba sisi hatuwezi kuwepo bila yeye that we be we We are here because God has allowed us to. Tunathibitisha kwamba tupo kwa sababu Mungu ameruhusu to be here. Tuwepo. May the Lord may, may, may the, the name of God the, the Lord be glorified. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe sana. Amen. 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 I thank the Lord for this alternative. Ah, ninamshukuru Mungu kwa njia hii mbadala. For the second chance God gave to me. Kwa ya nafasi ya pili ambayo tena alimpa mwanadamu. As God selected the one tree for himself kama Mungu alivyochagua mti mmoja kwa ajili yake kwenye bustani ya Edeni he selected the, the test vivyo hivyo pia alichagua za of our income kwa mambo yote tunayopata kama increases yani kwa ongezeko lote tunalopata it is holy to god hiyo ni takatifu it is kwa his hiyo ni yake it is a sign of his ownership and of hiyo inabaki kuwa ishara ya umiliki wake na ubwana wake amen amen mj white said Ellen G White anasema The book of counsel on stewardship katika kitabu cha mashauri juu ya wakati kile cha Kiingereza ukurasa wa 69 Councils on stewardship mashauri juu ya wakati cha Kiingereza ukurasa wa 69 Ellen G White anasema Through the pen of, of inspiration kupitia karamu ya uvuvio we have been told tumeambiwa 
the tithing kwamba swala ya utoaji wa zaka the tithing principle kanuni ya utoaji wa zaka reaches back to the days of adam inaturudisha nyuma kabisa kwenye siku za adam to the day of adam kwenye siku za adam it, it is a mild practice yani hiyo kwa kweli ni jambo la kufanyia kazi hiki sio kitu kilichoanza na Yakobo na Ibrahimu this practice was taught to Adam and Eve utaratibu huu ulianza tangu wakati wa Adam na Eve after the fall baada ya nguko it is a not the practice yani jambo hili ni jambo la zamani sana hili jambo aliambiwa Ibrahimu the father of all believers kama baba wa watu wote wenye imani and all believers are to to touch like Abraham na watu wote wenye imani wanapaswa kufanya kama Ibrahimu the father of all the believers baba ya wote wenye imani even Jacob even Jacob knew that practice kwa kweli hata hawa wazee wa zamani walijua utaratibu practice hili jambo ni la zamani amen 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 we don't tell because we love our pastors hatutoi zaka kwa sababu tunampenda mchungaji wetu we don't tell because we love our our, our union treasure hatutoi zaka kwa sababu tunampenda muazini wa union but we to tell because we, are, we want to show our loyalty to God yani tunarudisha zaka kwa sababu tunataka kuonyesha wadilifu wetu kwa Mungu amen sometimes wakati fulani we hear people condemning Adam and Eve tunasikia watu wanamlaumu sana Adamu na Eva for the disobedience kwa sababu ya hali yao ya kutokutii when we see all the problems yani tukiona matatizo yote tunayaona and suffering that resulted from their sin na maumivu yanayotokana na dhambi yao brothers and sisters ndugu zangu na dada but we all blame them je sio kwamba wote huwa tunawalaumu for eating from the forbidden tunasema kwa nini walikula mti ule waliozuiwa we say mara nyingi tunasema sana tulikuwa na miti mingi sana kwenye bustani kwa nini wale tu kwenye huo mti mmoja ndugu zangu na dada hata leo tunafanya vile vile kama wao god gave 10% alitoa asilimia kumi god gave 90% to us mungu ametoa asilimia 90% Yaani hizo si asilimia nyingi sana. Lakini hiyo sentence ni kubwa. Yaani ndio maana tunajaribu kujaribiwa. Yaani pamoja na ile asilimia 90 bado tunataka na ile 10 na Hiyo ndio dhambi ya ulimwengu. Many people na hiyo ndio dhanda ambayo itawazuia wengi sana kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Amen. Brothers and sisters, ndugu na dada. God said in Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. Mungu anasema katika kitabu cha kutoka sura ya 20 fungu la 15 anasema usifanye nini? You shall not steal. Usiibe. Don't love God. Usimnyang'anye Bwana. Don't love God. Uh, unajua hili neno nalibadilisha kidogo ku robu ni kama kukaba roba. You, you, you can love to the pastor. Eh uh, unaweza ukajaribu kumkaba roba Maybe mchungaji. You can love the, to someone else. Unaweza kumkaba mtu yeyote. It is a great sin. Aicho ni kitu kikubwa. But loving God. Lakini kumkaba Mungu. Loving God. Mungu kumkaba is a great sin. Ni dhambi kubwa sana. And we normally the the word which is used to rob na mara nyingi biblia inapotumia hilo neno ku in english to rob means kwa kiingereza hilo neno to take by force ni kuchukua kwa nguvu to take by force kunyang'anya and this is the term which is used in malakai na hii kwa kweli imetumika kwenye kitabu cha take by force my my my, my, my time kitabu cha malakai yes you have taken you have the back and touch Yaani umeamua kuchukua hilo ni deni. You are, when you are coming, unapokuja, said, Mungu anasema, I come back, rudisha. I will, I will, I receive them. Nitapokea. But when you are coming, lakini unapokuwa unakuja, come with the tithes. Uje na zaka. You have with you have the tithes you have kept. 
Azaka ile ambayo ume umeitunza uliyo ficha when you when you come back unapokuwa unarudi you come with the the task you have kept unatakiwa urudi na ile uliyokuwa umefanya because God will not hear your prayer umeficha kwa sababu Mungu hatasikia kazi yako you bring back mpaka utakaporudisha taken from him kila ulichokuwa umemwibia ya um and what is said hapa mama waita anasema in the book of messages Because that the young people kana kitabu cha mashauri kwa vijana the book message message kwa vijana to the young people jumbe kwa vijana page 248 kwa kile cha kiingereza ni ukurasa wa 248 prayer will not pay our debt to god maombi hayatalipa deni letu kwa mungu prayer will not pay our debt to god maombi hayatalipa deni letu kwa mungu if you have if you have a captain test kama wewe umeficha you have a debt to God. Wewe una deni kwa Mungu. Even if you pass one day, hata kama unapita siku moja, praying, unaomba, God will not hear you. Mungu hatasikia maombi yako. You return what you have kept. Paka turudishe hicho ulichozuia. Prayer will not pay our debt to God. Maombi hayataripa deni letu kwa Mungu. Say the Lord kwa ni Mungu anasema amen 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 i don't i don't hear people saying amen sisikii watu wakisema amen i don't know if they are ah huh? i don't know if you are present or not sijui kama mpo au hampo mnakaba nafikiri thank you so much asante sana Today we people are weeping. Leo kuna watu wengi wanalia. People are, are mourning. Watu wanalia. For their for their beloved ones. Kwa ajili ya wapendwa wao. Because of Adam the Eve disobedience. Kwa sababu tu ya kutokuti kwa Adam na Eve. So many widows. Kwa are sababu are hiyo leo tunawajana. So leo tunayasema. So many refugees. Refugees. Leo tumekuwa na wakimbizi wengi. Homeless people. Yaani leo kuna watu wasio na faraini. Where without support. Kila mahala hawana Hospitals are full of patients. Na hospitali leo yana wagonjwa wengi. And some of them are suffering from incurable disease. Na baadhi yao kabisa wana magonjwa ya ajabu. Of one small small fruit kwa sababu ya tunda moja dogo tu. Eaten by Adam and Eve. Lilo liwa na Adam na Eve. No no not not a basket of of fruit. Yaani hata sio ndoo ya matunda. Not a basket of fruit. Wala hata sio ndoo ya matunda. Only one one fruit. Katunda kamoja tu. Only one fruit. Tunda moja tu. And today na leo we all have we are we we are are suffering. Yaani wengi hapa sasa hivi tunapika pesa small fruit kwa sababu ya tunda hilo dogo tu which was eaten ambalo lililiwa by our father parents na wazazi wetu wa kwanza as a sign of disobedience ambayo kwa kweli ilikuwa inakuwa kama ishara ya hali yao ya kutokutii brother and sisters ndugu na dada no 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 taking the people will will not will not maybe uh, recognize that you have taken wakati fulani watu wanaweza wasigundue kwamba but you cannot hide anything to god lakini uwezi kuficha chochote kwa mungu god know even the intent of our hearts mungu anajua hata kile cha sirini kabisa cha moyo wako we have to be faithful tunapasa kuwa waminifu amen 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 unfortunately Ah, kwa bahati mbaya kabisa. Many people even seven day Adventist church members. Watu wengi na wakati fulani hata wa Adventist wa. Are eating from the forbidden tree. Wanakula kwenye mti huu uliozuiwa. Like our father parents. Kama tu wazazi wetu wa kwanza. They are robbing God. Wanamnyanganya Mungu kwa kuchukua zaka. Wanamnyanganya. Wanamnyanganya. Yes. Kunyanganya. Mm. The difficult word kunyanganya eh, kunyanganya ni neno ugumu anasema kunyanganya <laughs> ah, very very powerful yeah the test is the lord's zaka ni ya bwana and those who may draw with it na wale ambao wanaweza kuichezea will be punished watadhibiwa with the loss of their heavenly treasure 
kwa sababu hapo wanachukua kila mchezo haya ni maneno ya mama white hii ni shuhuda kwa kanisa cha kiingereza gombo la 9 page 249 ukurasa wa 249 and what said mama white anasema those who medro with the task wale ambao wanatumia wana, wana vibaya zaka ya Bwana wataadhibiwa with the loss of eternal life na adhabu kubwa atakayopata ni kupoteza uzima wa milele with the loss of eternal life Unapoche, unapoteza uzima if wa milele you want to have eternal life kama unataka kupata uzima if wa milele you want to enter the joy of the ma, our master kama una shauku ya kuingia kwenye furaha ya bwana wetu you have to be faithful unapaswa kuwa mwaminifu kurudisha zaka amen 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 Unfortunately, na kwa bahati mbaya ni wa, ni wa division katika division yetu 70% of our church members are robbers 70% ya washiriki wetu ni majambazi only 30% yani ni 30% division 30% tu ya washiriki wetu ni division wana rudisha zaka only 30% 30% tu That was it means 70% 70% of our church members. Wengine wote yani 70% are washiriki. Are not faithful. Sio waminifu. I was talking with Pastor uh, Nabindia. Alikuwa akizungumza na Pastor Ntabindi. The union uh, swadship. Uko uh, kiongozi wetu wa wakili wa union. In this union. Katika union hii. This powerful union. A uh, union hii yenye nguvu. He told me that ana alimwambia kwamba Tanzania Union Conference katika union hii ya kaskazini mwa Tanzania ni asilimia 31% tu wanaorudisha zaka and the mambo oh, mambo even those 31% na hata miongoni mwa hao 31% asilimia we are not sure hatuna uhakika that the kwamba zaka yao hiyo kweli ni ya uaminifu we are not sure hatuna uhakika brothers and sisters ndugu na dada god has given another opportunity mungu ametoa fursa nyingine to the most to demonstrate our loyalty to him kudhihirisha uadilifu wetu kwake don't joke with god usifanye mzaha na mungu don't joke with god usifanye mzaha when you go there to do something mungu anapokuambia ufanye kitu you better do it ni vizuri ukakifanya you better do it ni vizuri ukakifanya you better do it ni vizuri ukifanye amen 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 i am about to conclude ninae tapoelekea kuhitimisha It will not be long before probation will close. Wala sio mbali sana wakati ambapo muda wa rehema utafungwa. If you do not now serve the Lord with fidelity. Kama kwa sasa huwezi kumtumikia Mungu kwa uadilifu. How will you meet the record of your unfaithful and unfaithful dealing? Utawezaje au utakuwa na wakati gani utakapokutana na historia yako na kutokuwa mwaminifu? Utakutana na historia yako ya kutokuwa mwaminifu. Wanting or not kila kitu kitaletwa mbele zako kikiwa kizuri au kibaya Wanting or not everyone is here to give an account kila mtu awe tayari anataka uataki atapasa kutoa hesabu to the lord kwa bwana on how he was faithful kuhusu jinsi alivyokuwa muaminifu kwa chochote ambacho bwana alikuamini kwacho amen 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 Brothers and sisters ndugu na dada don't make no excuse uh, usifanye usitoe udhuru wowote for failing to give the lord his own kama sababu eti ya kukufanya ushindwe kumpa mungu vyake amen we have to follow the example of, of jacob tunapaswa siku zote kuiga mfano wa yakobo in the book of testimony of volume uh, 4 katika shuhuda kwa kanisa cha kiingereza gombo la 4 page 466 ukurasa wa 466 and what it says mama white anasema long years intervened long years intervened before jacob dare to return to his home country anasema muda muda wote mrefu 
aliingilia kati but when he did lakini pale alipofanya he fell for the shadow of his death to his masa yani alifanya kwa uadilifu vyote akavirudisha kwa bwana wake no but jacob wote tunafahamu kwamba yakobo spent many uh, spent 20 years in exile alitumia miaka 20 uhamishoni 20 years miaka 20 and during those 20 years na katika miaka hiyo 20 he was not able to pay the time to the time hakuna na uwezo wa kurudisha zaka ya Mungu during 20 years katika miaka hiyo 20 he was not able to return the time to the lord hakuweza kurudisha zaka kwa bwana but enzo what is it lakini mama wote anasema when he came back alipopata fursa ya kurudi he fell for this child his death to his master kwa uaminifu kabisa alisalimisha vyote kwa bwana wake a worthy man alikuwa sasa amekuwa tajiri and the very right amount of, of, of property na alikuwa na vitu vingi sana passing from his possession to the treasury of the lord Amen. alikuwa akivichukua kutoka kwenye miliki yake kupeleka kwenye hazina ya bwana Amen. Jacob Yakobo gave the tenth of all alitoa asilimia kumi ya vyote that he had alivyokuwa navyo and then he recognized the use of the tenth he recognized the na alitambua the use of the tenth and gave the lord alitambua matumizi ya ile ya kumi alitabwana the benefit na faida the benefit of all that which he had used for his own interest faida ya kile chote alichokuwa amekipata kwa maana yake the time he was in heaven land wakati wewe alipokuwa katika mataifa yale ya wapagani asingeweza kutimiza ahadi yake he gave even the interest alitoa hata ile riba so the money he used kwa fedha aliyokuwa ametumia which belong to god ambayo ilikuwa ni ya bwana he gave a time a task of 20 years yani aliporudi alitoa zaka mpaka ya ile miaka 20 aliyokuwa 20 years back ile miaka 20 ya nyuma because he was not able kwa sababu during those 20 years he was not able to give the time kwa sababu alijua kwenye hiyo miaka 20 hakuweza kutoa zaka when he came back alipofanikiwa kurudi he did not say yeye hakusema i am going to start by, by zero kwamba sasa anaenda kuanza upya but he said lakini alisema god has blessed me during 20 years mungu amekuwa na mimi hata ile miaka 20 been, uh, uh, faithful na kwa kweli sikuwa mwaminifu how to to, 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 to calculate sasa nitafanya mahesabu and he said the the, the that all the times ili nione kabisa zaka yote ya wakati ule and bring all to the treasury of the lord na nitaileta yote kwenye hazina ya bwana and have also na pia alikuwa to calculate the interest anapaswa kupiga hesabu ya hesabu la faida and give na vyote alitoa kwa bwana to pay for repentance bwana yesu asifiwe ni amen Amen. What a powerful repentance. Hii ni toba kubwa kiasi gani? Bringing back the tax he has not paid for during 20 years. Kurudisha mpaka na zaka ambayo alikuwa hakulipa kwa miaka 20. Give some interest. Na ziada tena. Amen. 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 And this is why. Na hii ndio sababu Jacob is recognized as a son of God. Yakobo anatambuliwa kama kijana au mwana wa Mungu. He was sincere. Kwa sababu kwa kweli alikuwa mwaminifu kabisa kwa imani yake. Amen. Brothers and sisters. Ndugu na dada. We have to return the tax we have not paid during the past years. Tunapaswa kurudishia. Tunapaswa kumrudishia Mungu zaka ambayo hatukutoa sasa nyuma. Everything. Tunapaswa kurudisha kila kitu to the lord kwa bwana the tajir are kept zaka ambayo ulikuwa umetumia house kwenye nyumba yako you have to sit down uli uende ukakae chini make a calculation ufanye mahesabu even uh, make a plan wakati fulani weka hata mkakati uri bring it back wa namna ambavyo utairudisha amen amen I don't hear people saying yes. Sisikii watu wakisema amina. Because the lesson is too difficult. Ni kwa sababu hiyo ni ngumu sana. To digest. Eh hiyo ni ngumu kumengenya. <laughs> to digest. <laughs> ni ngumu kuichukua. In my country of Rwanda. Ah katika taifa lao la Rwanda. We have a special month every year. Wao wana wana 
we, wana mwezi maalum kwenye kila mwaka we have a special month, month every year wana mwezi maalum kwa kila mwaka where we we where we remind all church members ambapo katika mwaka huo washiriki wote wa taifa wanakumbushwa so kurudisha the they, they have kept it for many years zaka ambao wameituza kwa muda mrefu and during that month na katika mwezi huo people do the best watu wanafanya wawezavyo to remember kukumbuka the father they have not given zaka ambao hawakurudisha and bring it back to the lord na hivyo wanairudisha kwa bwana amen. amen amen and during that month na katika kipindi cha mwezi huo i want to give three months of salary ayele kwa kweli anajaribu kutoa to the lord Ah, I cannot remember kwa every, kwa sababu, every tax. Awezi kukumbuka kila za. Have, I have I have not uh, returned to the Lord. Awezi kukumbuka kila zaka ambayo hakurudisha. I want to give three months on salary. Kwa naamua kabisa kurudisha mishahara na During mitatu. that month kwa mwezi huo. Because I cannot to know exactly how much. Kwa sababu hawezi kujua kwa uhakika ni kiasi gani. Alizuia kuleta kwa Bwana. Brothers and sisters. Ndugu na dada. When do, the Lord told us to bring the tax. Bwana anapotuambia kurudisha zaka. It is a serious matter. Ili ni jambo It is a serious matter. Eh hiyo serious ni jambo kubwa. Jambo Amen. makini. <laughs> we have we have a lot to joke. Ah kwa kweli hatuhitaji kufanya mzao. It is God's command. Hii ni amri ya Mungu. And even the prayer hata maombi cannot pay. Hayawezi kulipa. The tax have not to eternal. Zaka ambayo hukurudisha. Amen. Amen. This is the one the reason why. Hii ndio sababu we are going to encourage all the unions in this division. Tunahitaji sasa kuwatia moyo na kuwakumbusha union hizo. A special month. Kwenye division hii, where all church members will be requested. Kutengeneza wakati muhimu ambapo washiriki wote wakumbushwa. Confirm a public confession. Kufanya kufanya maungano kwa Bwana ya hadhara. Returning kwa kurudisha the tax they have not returned since the past ambayo wanajua hawakurudisha ambayo hawakurudisha kwenye miaka iliyopita amen. amen we have to do like jacob tunapaswa kufanya kama yakobo the bible the angel what he said elen white anasema this was a large amount hiki kilikuwa ni kiasi kikubwa but he did not hesitate lakini hakusita that which he had devoted to god he did not regard as his back at the lord kwa sababu chote alijua hakikuwa chake bali ni cha bwana uh, you know that he even made, 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 made a, a vow na wote mnajua kabisa kwamba hata aliweka kiapo that will be faithful aliweka nadhiri kwamba atakuwa mwaminifu faithful god kurudisha kwa mungu kwa mwaminifu when he arrived the home na pale alipofika nyumbani he paid the tax alitoa zaka with interest na ziada ya riba and you went to, to, to better na alikwenda betheri well he has made a promise to build a, a, a church to the lord mahala ambapo ndipo aliweka ahadi kwamba atajenga kanisa la bwana jacob take all his family to better kwamba akachukua familia yake yote wakaenda betheri and he said na wakasema I have, I have made I have made a vote to the Lord. Nilifanya agano na Bwana. That I will be faithful. Kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu. In tithes and offering. Kwa zaka na sadaka. Now we have paid the tithe with interest. Sasa tumeshalipa zaka na ziada. The second thing we have to do. Jambo la pili tunalopaswa kufanya. Is to build a church where the Lord has met with me. Ni kujenga kanisa mahala ambapo Bwana alinibariki. And in, the, in the Genesis chapter 31 5 1 na katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya They all went to Bethel. Wote wakaenda Betheli. And build an altar for the Lord. Na wakajenga madhabahu kwa ajili ya Bwana. May the Lord bless, bless us. Bwana tubariki sana. As we meet the example of Jacob. Tunapokuwa tunaiga mfano huu wa Yakobo. Ah uh, when we, we, we have to imitate that is that example. Tunapaswa kuiga mfano huo because we are also the children of Abraham. Kwa sababu sisi pia ni watoto. Tunapaswa to be faithful. 
Bwana na atusaidie kuwa waaminifu. Amen. Tulikogonaze his ownership na kutambua umiliki wake on everything wa kila kitu in Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu naomba. Amen. Amen. How many of you? Ni wangapi wenu? Would like to say to the Lord. Wanatamani kumwambia Bwana. Lord Bwana, I have not been faithful, ni turning a faithful time. Nimekuwa sio maminifu kurudisha zaka kwa waaminifu. Now help me to remember. Sasa nisaidie nikumbuke. The that I have not that the that I have kept in the zaka ambayo kwa kweli nimeficha. Try to remind me. Ewe nikumbushe nikiasikeni. I want to return to the church. Ambacho sikurudisha kanisani. I could I could pay. Ili kwamba nikilipe. If you want to make that decision, kama unataka kufanya homzi huo, simama. Simama. And I will like the treasure our treasure union to treasure to come. Na nitamuomba mwazini wa union aje. And pray for us. Ili atuombe. Amen. Amen. Tuombe. Baba Mungu wa mbinguni, tunakushukuru sana chana wa leo tumesikia ujumbe wako na ujumbe umechoma mioyo yetu ulimpa adam na hawa jaribu la kula tunda la mtu uliokataliwa wakavunja na sisi tumetuletia katikati yetu jaribu la zaka baba tunakuomba usamehe pale tupokosea Umetutuma kwenda kuhubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe na unataka tushiriki katika kutoa zaka na sadaka. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunaomba uende pamoja nasi. Zungumza na kila mmoja aliyesikia neno hili. Zungumza na marafiki zetu ambao ambao hawakuja hapa. Tukumbushe kwamba tunatakiwa kuwa watifu kwako. Kama tunataka kwenda mbinguni ndiko tu watifu kwako. Kama tunatakiwa Tunataka mibaraka mingi isiyo na kipimo tuwe waaminifu kwa zaka na sadaka. Baba tunakuomba uzungumze na kila mmoja wetu utubariki. Halafu tukishatoa tutategemea ibaraka kutoka kwako. Nenda na kila mmoja mchana huu turudishe tena baada ya mapumziko mafupi tuende na vipindi hivi tumeomba kwa Yesu Kristo mkozi wetu. Amen. Yes. You have taken You have the bucket that yani umeamua kuchukua hilo ni deni you are, when you are coming unapokuja the Lord is said Mungu anasema I come back rudisha awe awe I receive them nitapokea but when you are coming lakini unapokuwa unakuja come with the tithes uje na zaka you have with you have with you have the tithes that you have kept Azaka ile ambayo ume umeitunza uliyoificha when you when you come back unapokuwa unarudi you come with the the task you have kept unatakiwa urudi na ile uliyokuwa umefanya because God will not hear your prayer umeficha kwa sababu Mungu hatasikia maombi yako you bring it back mpaka utakaporudisha taken from him kila ulichokuwa umemwibia ya um and what is said hapa mama waita anasema in the book of messages messages to the young people kana kitabu cha mashauri kwa vijana the book messages jumbe kwa vijana to the young people jumbe kwa vijana page 248 kwa kile cha kiingereza ni kurasa wa 248 prayer will not pay our debt to god maombi hayatalipa deni letu kwa mungu prayer will not pay our debt Maombi hayatalipa deni letu kwa Mungu. If you have if you have kept the task, kama wewe umeficha, you have a debt to God. Wewe una deni kwa Mungu. Even if you pass one day, hata kama unapita siku moja, praying, unaomba, God will not hear you. Mungu hatasikia maombi yako. If you return what you have kept, paka turudishe hicho ulichozuia. Prayer will not pay our debt to God. Maombi hayataripa deni letu kwa Mungu. Say the Lord. Kwa ni Mungu anasema. Amen. 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 I don't I don't hear people saying amen. Sisiki watu wakisema amen. I don't know if they are. Ah? 
I don't know if you are present or not. Sijui kama mpo au hampo. Mnakaba nafikiri. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Today we people are weeping. Leo kuna watu wengi wanalia. People are, are mourning. Watu wanalia. For their for their beloved ones. Kwa ajili ya wapendwa wao. Because of Adam and Eve disobedience. Kwa sababu tu ya kutokutii kwa Adam na Eve. There are so many widows. Kwa sababu hiyo leo tunawachana so wengi. Leo tunayasema. So many refugees. Refugees. Leo tumekuwa na wakimbizi wengi. Homeless people. Yaani leo kuna watu wasio na tumaini. Everywhere without support. Kila mahala hawana msaada. Hospitals are full of patients. Na hospitali leo yana wagonjwa wengi. And some of them are suffering from unclean na baadhi yao kabisa wana magonjwa ya ya ajabu kwa sababu ya tunda moja dogo tu eaten by adam and eve lilo liwa na adam na eva no 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 not a basket of of fruit yani hata sio ndoo ya matunda not a basket of fruit wala hata sio ndoo ya matunda only one one fruit katunda kamoja tu only one fruit tunda moja tu and today na leo we all have we are we we are a suffering yani wengi hapa sasa hivi tunapita because of that small fruit kwa sababu ya tunda hilo dogo tu which was eaten ambalo lililiwa by our father parents na wazazi wetu wa kwanza as the son of the obedient ambayo kwa kweli ilikuwa inakuwa kama ishara ya hali yao ya kutokutii brother and sisters ndugu na dada can, oh, no 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 taking the people will will not will not maybe uh, recognize that you have taken wakati fulani watu wanaweza wasigundue kwamba you cannot hide anything to God lakini uwezi kuficha chochote kwa Mungu God know even the intent of our hearts Mungu anajua hata kile cha sirini kabisa cha moyo wako we have to be faithful tunapaswa kuwa waaminifu amen 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 unfortunately Ah, kwa bahati mbaya kabisa. Many people even send their Adventist church members. Watu wengi na wakati fulani hata wa Adventist wa. Are eating from the forbidden tree. Wanakula kwenye mti huu uliozuiwa. Like our first parents. Kama tu wazazi wetu wa kwanza. They are robbing God by wanamnyanganya Mungu kwa kuchukua zaka. Wanamnyanganya. Wanamnyanganya. Yes. Kunyanganya. Mm. So difficult word. Kunyanganya. Eh, kunyanganya. Ni neno ugumu anasema kunyanganya. <laughs> ah, very very powerful. Yeah. The test is the Lord's. Zaka ni ya Bwana. And those who may draw with it. Na wale ambao wanaweza kuichezea will be punished. Watadhibiwa. With the laws of their heavenly treasure. Kwa sababu hapo wanachukua kile ambacho haya ni maneno ya mama White in shuhuda kwa kanisa cha Kiingereza gombo la 9 page 249 ukurasa wa 249 and what said mama White anasema those who medro with the task wale ambao wana, ha, wana wanatumia vibaya zaka ya Bwana will be punished watadhibiwa with the laws of eternal life na adhabu kubwa atakayopata ni kupoteza uzima wa milele. Unapoteza uzima wa milele. Kama unataka kupata uzima wa milele. Kama una shauku ya kuingia kwenye furaha ya Bwana wetu. Unapaswa kuwa mwaminifu kurudisha zaka. Amen. 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 Unfortunately, na kwa bahati mbaya ni wa, ni wa division katika division yetu 70% of our church members are robbers Asilimia sabini ya washiriki wetu ni majambazi only 30% yani ni asilimia 30% of tu ya washiriki wetu ni majambazi hao ndio wanarudisha zaka only 30% asilimia 30% tu There was at least 70% 70% of our church members. Wengine wote yani asilimia sabini ya washiriki are not faithful. Sio waaminifu. I was talking with Pastor uh, Nabindia. Alikuwa akizungumza na Pastor Ntabindi. The union uh, swadeship. Uh, kiongozi wetu wa wakili wa union. 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 
This powerful union. A union hii yenye nguvu. He told me that. Ana alimwambia kwamba in North Tanzania Union Conference katika union hii ya kaskazini mwa Tanzania ni asilimia 31% tu wanaorudisha zaka and mambo mambo even those 31% na hata miongoni mwa hao 31% asilimia we are not sure hatuna uhakika that the their their test is faithful kwamba zaka yao hiyo kweli ni ya uaminifu we are not sure hatuna uhakika brothers and sisters ndugu na dada god has given another opportunity mungu ametoa fursa nyingine to the most to demonstrate our loyalty to him kudhihirisha uadilifu wetu kwake don't joke with god usifanye mzaha na mungu don't joke with god usifanye mzaha when mungu. god tell you to do uh, something mungu anapokuambia ufanye kitu you better do it ni vizuri ukakifanya you better do it ni vizuri ukakifanya you better do it ni vizuri ukifanye amen 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 Amina. Amina. Amen. I am about to conclude. Ninaelekea kuhitimisha. It will not be long before probation will close. Wala sio mbali sana wakati ambapo muda wa rehema utafungwa. If you do not now serve the Lord with fidelity. Kama kwa sasa huwezi kumtumikia Mungu kwa uadilifu. How will you meet the record of your unfaithful and faithful dealing? Utawezaje au utakuwa na wakati gani utakapokutana na historia yako ya kutokuwa mwaminifu? Utakutana na historia yako ya kutokuwa mwaminifu. Wanting or not kila kitu kitaletwa mbele zako kikiwa kizuri au kibaya Wanting or not everyone is here to give an account kila mtu awe tayari anataka uhataki atapasa kutoa hesabu to the lord kwa bwana on how he was faithful kuhusu jinsi alivyokuwa mwaminifu kwa chochote ambacho bwana alikuamini kwacho amen 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 Brothers and sisters ndugu na dada don't make no excuse uh, usifanye usitoe udhuru wowote for failing to give the lord his own kama sababu eti ya kukufanya ushindwe kumpa mungu vyake amen we have to follow the example of, of jacob tunapaswa siku zote kuiga mfano wa yakobo in the book of testimony of volume 4 katika shuhuda kwa kanisa cha kiingereza gombo la 4 Page 466. Ukurasa wa 466. And so what he says? Mama White anasema, Long years intervened. Long years intervened before Jacob dare to return to his home country. Anasema muda muda wote mrefu aliingilia kati. But when he did, lakini pale alipofanya, he fell for free this shadow his death to his master. Yaani alifanya kwa uadilifu vyote akavirudisha kwa bwana wake. Mama that Jacob, wote tunafahamu kwamba Yakobo spent many uh, spent 20 years in exile. Alitumia miaka 20 uhamishoni. 20 years. Miaka 20. And during those 20 years. Na katika miaka hiyo 20. He was not able to pay the tithe. He turned the tithe. Hakuna uwezo wa kurudisha zaka ya Mungu. During 20 years. Katika miaka hiyo 20. He was not able to return the tithe to the Lord. Hakuweza kurudisha zaka kwa Bwana. But he knew what he said. Lakini mama wetu anasema, when he came back, alipopata fursa ya kurudi. He fell for this charge is debt to his master kwa uaminifu kabisa alisalimisha vyote kwa bwana wake a worthy man alikuwa sasa amekuwa tajiri and a very lot of amount of, of, of property na alikuwa na vitu vingi sana passed from his possession to the treasury of the lord amen. alikuwa akivichukua kutoka kwenye miliki yake kupeleka kwenye hazina ya bwana amen Jacob Yakobo gave the tenth of all alitoa asilimia kumi ya vyote that he had alivyokuwa navyo and then he cognized the use of the tenth he cognized the na alitambua the use of the tenth and gave the Lord alitambua matumizi ya ile ya kumi alipata Bwana the benefit na faida the benefit of that which he had used for his own interest faida ya kile chote alichokuwa amekipata kwa maisha yake 
wakati wewe alipokuwa katika mataifa yale ya wapagani asingeweza kutimiza ahadi yake alitoa hata ile riba for the money he used kwa fedha aliyokuwa ametumia which belong to god ambayo ilikuwa ni ya bwana he gave a time it has of 20 years yani aliporudi alitoa zaka mpaka ya ile miaka 20 aliyokuwa years back ile miaka 20 ya nyuma because he was not able kwa sababu during those 20 years he was not able to give the time kwa sababu alijua kwenye hiyo miaka 20 hakuweza kutoa zaka when he came back alipofanikiwa kurudi he did not say yeye hakusema i am going to start by, by zero kwamba sasa anaenda kuanza upya but he said lakini alisema god has blessed me during 20 years mungu amekuwa na mimi hata ile miaka 20 he has been a faithful na kwa kweli sikuwa mwaminifu how to 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 calculate sasa nitafanya mahesabu and see the the the, the that all the times ili nione kabisa zaka yote ya wakati ule and bring all to the treasury of the lord na nitaileta yote kwenye hazina ya bwana and have also na pia alikuwa to calculate the interest anapaswa kupiga hesabu ya hazina la faida and give na vyote alitoa kwa bwana the powerful repentance bwana yesu asifiwe ni amen Amen. What a powerful repentance. Hii ni toba kubwa kiasi gani? Bring him back the tears he has not paid for during 20 years. Kurudisha mpaka na zaka ambayo alikuwa hakulipa kwa miaka 20. Give some interest. Na ziada tena. Amen. 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 And this is why. Na hii ndio sababu. Oh, Jacob is recognized as a son of God. Yakobo anatambuliwa kama kijana au mwana wa Mungu. He was sincere. Kwa sababu kwa kweli alikuwa maaminifu kabisa kwa imani yake. Amen. Brothers and sisters. Ndugu na dada. We have to return the tax we have not paid during the past years. Tunapaswa kurudisha. Tunapaswa kumrudishia Mungu zaka ambayo hatukutoa siku za nyuma. Everything. Tunapaswa kurudisha kila kitu. To the Lord, kwa Bwana, the tithe I have kept, zaka ambayo ulikuwa umetumia house, kwenye nyumba yako. You have to sit down. Uli uende ukakae chini. Make a calculation. Ufanye mahesabu. Even uh, make a plan. Wakati fulani weka hata mkakati. Uri, bring it back. Kwa namna ambavyo utairudisha. Amen. Amen. I don't hear people saying that. Sisikii watu wakisema amina. Because the lesson is too difficult. Ni kwa sababu hiyo ni ngumu sana. To digest. Eh hiyo ni ngumu kumengenya. <laughs> to digest. <laughs> ni ngumu kuichukua. In my country of Rwanda. Ah, katika taifa lao la Rwanda. We have a special month every year. Wao wana wana have, wana mwezi maalum kwenye kila mwaka. We have a special month Mas every year wana mwezi maalum kwa kila mwaka. Where we we where we mind all church members. Ambapo katika mwaka huo washiriki wote wa taifa wanakumbusha. Kurudisha. The time they, they have kept it for many years. Zaka ambayo wameitunza kwa muda mrefu. And during that month na katika mwezi huo people do their best watu wanafanya wawezavyo to remember kukumbuka the time they have not given zaka ambayo hawakurudisha and bring it back to the lord na hivyo wanairudisha kwa bwana amen. amen amen and during that month na katika kipindi cha mwezi huo i want to give three months of salary ayele kwa kweli anajaribu kutoa to the lord Ah mishahara mitatu. I cannot remember kwa every, kwa sababu every tax. Awezi kukumbuka kila zaka. I have I have not returned to the Lord. Awezi kukumbuka kila zaka ambayo hakurudisha. I want to give three months of salary. Kwa hiyo anaamua kabisa kurudisha mishahara mitatu kwa mwezi huo because i cannot know exactly how much kwa sababu hawezi kujua kwa uhakika ni kiasi gani taken it from the lord alizuia kuleta kwa bwana brothers and sisters ndugu na dada when the, the lord told us to bring the tax bwana anapotuambia kurudisha zaka it is a serious matter ili ni jambo it is a serious matter eh uh, hiyo serious ni jambo kubwa jambo yeah. makini 
kwa kweli hatuhitaji kufanya mzaa it is god's command hii ni amri ya mungu and even the prayer hata maombi cannot pay hayawezi kulipa the fact you have not to return zaka ambayo hukurudisha amen amen this is why the reason why hii ndio sababu we are going to encourage all the unions in this division tunahitaji sasa kuatia moyo na kuwakumbusha union is that a special mark kwenye division hii where all that members will be Requested. kutengeneza wakati muhimu ambapo washiriki wote wakumbushwa public confession kufanya kufanya maungano kwa bwana ya hadhara returning kwa kurudisha the tazo are not return sadakas ambayo wanajua hawakurudisha ambayo hawakurudisha kwenye miaka iliyopita amen, amen. We have to do like a Jacob. Tunapaswa kufanya kama Yakobo. The Bible and the Bible what he said. Ellen White anasema, This was a large amount. Hiki kilikuwa ni kiasi kikubwa. But he did not hesitate. Lakini hakusita. That which he had devoted to God, he did not regard as his but as the Lord. Kwa sababu chote alijua hakikuwa chake bali ni cha Bwana. Uh, you know that he even made, 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 made a, a vow. Na wote mnajua kabisa kwamba hata aliweka kiapo. That will be faithful. Aliweka nadhiri kwamba atakuwa mwaminifu. faithful God. Kurudisha kwa Mungu kwa waminifu. When he arrived the home, na pale alipofika nyumbani, he paid the tax. Alitoa zaka with interest na ziada ya riba and you went to do, to, to better na alikwenda Bethel where he has made a promise to build a, a, a church to the Lord mahala ambapo ndipo aliweka ahadi kwamba atajenga kanisa la Bwana Jacob took all his family to Bethel yeah. kwa wakachukua familia yake yote wakaenda Bethel and he said na wakasema Um, I have made I have made a, a vow to the Lord. Nilifanya agano na Bwana. That I will be faithful. Kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu. In tithes and offerings. Kwa zaka na sadaka. Now we have paid the tithes with interest. Sasa tumeshalipa zaka na ziada. The second thing we have to do. Jambo la pili tunalopaswa kufanya. Is to build a church where the Lord has met with me. Ni kujenga kanisa mahala ambapo Bwana alinibariki. And in, the, in Genesis chapter 31 verse 1 na katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya They all went to Bethel. Wote wakaenda Bethel. And build an altar for the Lord. Na wakajenga madhabahu kwa ajili ya Bwana. May the Lord bless, bless us. Bwana tubariki sana. As we imitate the example of Jacob. Tunapokuwa tunaiga mfano huu wa Yakobo, uh, when we, we, we have to imitate that that example. Tunapaswa kuiga mfano huo because we are also the children of Abraham. Kwa sababu sisi pia ni watoto wa Mungu. to be faithful. Bwana anatusaidia kuwa waaminifu. And to recognize his ownership na kutambua umiliki wake on everything wa kila kitu in Jesus name kwa jina la Yesu naomba amen amen how many of you ni wangapi wenu would like to say to the lord wanatamani kumwambia bwana lord bwana i have not been faithful ni returning a faithful time nimekuwa sio mwaminifu kurudisha zaka kwa uaminifu now help me to remember sasa nisaidie nikumbuke the fact i have not the fact i have kwa kweli nimeficha try to remind me nikumbushe ni kiasi gani return to the church ah macho sikurudisha kanisa so that i could re, i, I could pay ili kwamba nikilipe if you want to make that decision kama unataka kufanya homzi huo simam and i will ask the trust our union trust to come na nitamuomba mwazini wa union aje and pray for us ili atuombe amen amen Baba Mungu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru sana. Mchana wa leo tumesikia ujumbe wako. Na ujumbe umechoma mioyo yetu. Ulimpa Adam na Hawa jaribu la kula tunda la mtu uliokataliwa. Wakavunja. Na sisi tumetuletea katikati yetu jaribu la zaka 
Baba tunakuomba utusamehe pale tupokosea. Umetutuma kwenda kuhubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe na unataka tushiriki katika kutoa zaka na sadaka. Baba katika jina leo tunaomba uende pamoja nasi. Zungumza na kila mmoja aliyesikia neno hili. Zungumza na marafiki zetu ambao ambao wakuja hapa. Tukumbushe kwamba tunatakiwa kuwa watifu kwako. Kama tunataka kwenda mbinguni, tutakuwa watifu kwako. Kama tunatakiwa tunataka mibaraka mingi isiyo na kipimo, tuwe waaminifu kwa zaka na sadaka. Baba tunakuomba uzungumze na kila mmoja wetu, utubariki. Halafu tukishatoa tutategemea ibaraka kutoka kwako. Nenda na kila mmoja mchana huu turudishe tena baada ya mapumziko mafupi tuende na vipindi hivi tumeomba Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wetu. Amen. Amen.